Okay, so I'm working in the studio this morning and I'm getting ready for a show. So I want to show you a little technique I use for the paintings that are on panel that because I'm going to put them in floating frames. And I'm going to show you what I do to the edges, which is something that a lot of artists don't do. And they really should when they put a canvas or a panel into a floating frame. And it just adds to the finish and the dimension of the piece when you put it on the wall. Okay, so here's one of my floater frames. And what we've got is that black interior. That's kind of what I want. It's got a silver lip on it. And I want to be able to put black on the edge of my canvas so it looks like it floats better. Has a little bit of a lip there. So some of the things you'll need for this is, uh, this is a three quarter inch brush, soft, synthetic hair, paper towels. In case you get something, you know, right on this edge here, you want to wipe off on the painting. And then I was using just regular paint today, but lots of times I use just the chalkboard paint because it dries flat and it's pretty permanent from Rust-Oleum and I've never had a problem with it. Okay, so here's the edge. This one was started. It'll take a couple of coats to do this, but I also have my paper towel in here and my black paint. What I want to do is I want to go right along this edge, and if I get some spillage over, I just take my paper towel and wipe it off. I know I should probably do this before I paint the painting, but this seems easier. I've also varnished the painting so that it has been varnished, so if it gets on the front of this, it doesn't stick to the paint. And really what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up filling this in with one coat. This will help create the illusion that this is floating more than it is. Even so we have the first coat on here, so the second one should go on a little bit easier. It's already on there. I can just pretty much wipe it down rather quickly and it follows that line and you come over here and do this. I want to make sure that the sides and the top are fairly opaque. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just so that it's pretty or fairly opaque. And you cover these areas fairly generously. Just be careful not to wipe it on the painting. So here we are with the frame around it, around one of the paintings. But you can see painting that dark side there. There's a little bit of touch up here and there, but it creates that illusion that it's actually floating more than it is. Because this is a good sized canvas, which is about an inch and a half. With that, and that just fits right into that groove right in there. And then I'll secure it on the back. And we'll uh, put it all together. And that's the floating frame, and that's why I paint the sides.